Matatu Welfare Association has reacted with anger to the ban on night travel for long-distance public service vehicles. The association is also now calling for the restructuring and the reconstruction of the National Transport and Safety Authority so as to curb the increased road carnage. The Matatu Welfare Association has blamed National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, for the increased road carnage. But they have at the same time dismissed ban on the night travel for PSV as illegal. Is that a solution here to sorting our numerous road crashes that do occur on our roads? No, it is not. There are other options that the NTSA director should have taken. And we believe possibly this is a, a unilateral kind of decision. They want the government to erect bombs along Salga Kibirichu stretch, which is notorious for traffic accidents. We do not support the punitive idea of suspending a whole public service circle fleet because of a road crash committed by an individual public service operator. It makes sense for NTSA to deal accordingly with the respective public service crew and owner and maybe the concerned circle management on one to one. The association accuses NTSA official of becoming part of a cartel that includes police officers which is involved in collecting bribes on the road. Because where's Gwenda Kwa NTSA authority, huna tabai skeli, and within six months, you are driving a premium. Dixon Bugwa blamed driving schools of recommending their trainees to be issued with driving licenses without having completed the NTSA driving curriculum. The NTSA decision to ban all long-distance night travel by public service vehicles came hours after the Nakurumiga accident that so far has claimed 36 lives. Willy Lusige, KTN News. My colleague Mark Namaso is at the bus station and now joins us. Now, this is Accra Road in Nairobi and one of the busiest uh, bus uh, termini where we speak to some of the bus uh, transport operators to tell us exactly how the night travel ban by NTSA has uh, affected their operations. And we speak to one of these officials here. Kindly tell us who you are, what you work for, and uh, what you think of the night travel ban. Uh, my name is Mohammed, and uh, I'm the supervisor our concern here in Accra. So about the ban, I would say that uh, it has really affected the customers. In fact, uh, it has been our, 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 our booking has gone down because we have to accommodate uh, these customers from night to morning. So yeah, actually it has affected. Not us also, but the, our clients also. They have to reschedule their, 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 their booking also. Uh, earlier on, did you have uh, arrangements for sleeping quarters for passengers? Like how many and how have things changed now? In, in fact, what we, we do, we, we just communicate to our customers. We communicate with them so that uh, instead of them traveling at night, so they have to come in the morning. To travel, yes. Um, we are looking at revenues. Around this time, it's usually peak time yes. across the year. It's December, early January. How have uh, the earnings been affected by this travel ban? I think it has affected it tremendously. It has gone down tremendously because we used to get. This is the peak period. We used to do a lot of traveling for our customers, but this time, no. We have to concentrate on our, the ones who have booked in advance so that we, they can travel. Usually when you look at bus travels, you count the number of trips and that will translate exactly to how much you earn. Now, now that you can't travel at night, how many trips have they been reduced to? How many trips can a bus do in a day? And with the ban, how many, uh, what's the reduction? Mm, it's almost half of it. 
and that half we have to accommodate the, the ones who have already booked. So you see, we don't book now. If we book, we book, uh, it is minimal. So the, the booking has gone down. Um, looking at uh, how you operate, do you op operate across East Africa? Do you operate uh, f from town to town? And um, have you had to break down uh, the number of trips, like uh, from town A to town B, you break down town B to town C? How have you broken down your journey? Yeah, in fact, in fact we have broken it down. We, we, we are traveling, our buses come from Kampala up to Mombasa. So we have to break it because we cannot, we cannot make a bus to travel it from Kampala to Mombasa on the same, the, same, the same trip. So they have to break it. Up to Nairobi, then they have to break it to, to Mombasa. What, in your opinion, should have been done instead of imposing a blanket travel ban? I think the NTSA should have uh, cooperated with the stakeholders, to cooperate with them so that we have a discussion. So we, what is the problem of the, or, or, or actually, what is the problem? So that we, if there, there's any issue, we settle it. And if there's a culprit within it, then we should be taking it into account of that. Thank you very much for your time. Still at uh, the Modern Coast uh, uh, Booking Office, we speak to some of the passengers uh, who have come here either to book tickets, to uh, place parcels for, for courier services. Uh, can you tell us who you are, uh, what brings you here? Uh, I'm Michelle. Uh, I came here to book a bus to travel in Kampala and all of a sudden I heard that no more traveling of night. Uh, I think to, to me it's kind of affecting some people because you find it like I want to be there before morning to prepare earlier but all of a sudden it's... I, now. From what, you've been, sorry, from what you've been told, uh, that uh, there's no night travel, going to Kampala, according to the information that you've gotten, do you have to break your journey somewhere midway? Uh, yep, yeah, I had to break it now and change the plans, yeah, because of that. Did you have, let's say, a budget arrangement for, let's say, sleeping in a particular town if the travel gets you there by nightfall? No, I had no plans for that. Yeah. Uh, still at uh, Modern Coast uh, Bus uh, Services Booking Office to speak to another of the travelers who has arrived here uh, ready to find her ticket so that she can move to where she is going to. Can you tell us who you are and where are you traveling to? I'm Maina Margaret. I'm traveling to Kampala. I want to travel to Kampala. I want to see if I'm going to manage to get a uh, ticket for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us, uh, NTSA has uh, imposed a ban on long distance uh, travel. Uh, do you usually travel at night or during the day and what has this information uh, impacted on your plans? My worry is that uh, I'm coming from very far so I'm worried if I'm, I don't make to get a ticket for tomorrow. Most of you usually travel in the night because it's more convenient for, for us. As, you know, during the day you get too tired and then I can travel in the night and in the morning I go to work. So th that is my worry, that I might not get a ticket for tomorrow, maybe because they have done, they have rescheduled the tickets. Did you have prior arrangements, just in case, that you'll have to sleep in a particular town should nightfall find you there? No, I was to travel on uh, Wednesday at night, that's tomorrow, so that by on, uh, on Thursday I, re I arrive at school for the opening. So I had no plans to sleep on the way, yeah. So what happens now? No, I'm, I'm still confused. I don't know the way forward, but I just pray and hope that I will get the way forward. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, those are some of the people that we met. Uh, let's add one more person. Kindly tell us who you are, what brings you here, and if the night travel ban has affected your plans. Okay, I'm Jeremiah Murunga. I think the night travel has affected me a lot because I was to travel tonight at home, then do my my sugar is at home tomorrow. Then at night, again the following day, to be back to Nairobi. But now, I feel my plans is already deteriorated. Yeah, this issue. Uh, in your opinion, what would have been done instead of uh, imposing a, a, a blanket travel ban on uh, long distance uh, travel? I think the issue will be very easy. With the NTSA, 
they will, they will allow the travels. You know, that, that right now it's a rush hour, right? They should just give people the time. And then they ban this long travel, the, these trucks. They could ban them from traveling at night. They, at least them, they have that allowance which they can just travel. But now people have, have their tickets already. They want to travel maybe today at night. You go to the, to the bus, they tell you, right now we are not, good. We are not having that night travel. So it affects so many people. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, those are some of the people that we found in Nairobi jostling for space and some have tickets, some do not have, but they have realized that right now they have to change their plans owing to the travel night uh, ban on uh, long distance travel. Back to you at studio.